I had picked up on your tone, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be laying here, just staring at the wall, waiting for you to get a call, so you got a reason to leave, without making a thing about it. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry, I'm so glad you're here today. Today I have for you my birthday haul. I know my birthday was like two weeks ago, a little bit longer than that, but you guys know I've been busy getting my beauty area put together with my new furniture and all that jazz. So I'm just now getting around to it. So I'm just gonna go through, show you what I got, maybe give you a little backstory on it if it's necessary, and yeah, just show you what I got. As I told you before, um, this was going to be very scaled down. This is a very small haul compared to my birthday hauls of the last few years. I had a little bit more control on myself. I did have a list and I went by that list and of course I got a few other things, but I also got some household items and hair things and so I'm just gonna show you what I got. I don't remember where everything came from because I just kind of took it all out of the bags, put it in a box so that it would be out of my way whenever I was working on my room. So if I can remember, I'll tell you where I got it. If not, you'll know it's one of the places that I went. So yeah, <laughs> how's that for great information? But let's get into it. You guys know that I've kind of been on a search for a heatless hair curling product or tool. Um, because I would like to have more curl and less frizz, but hot rollers don't seem to um, work for me. The curl doesn't hold. I can use a curling iron, but the same kind of thing by the end of the day, the curl fizzles out. And so I started looking for some other options. I haven't tried them yet because I just kind of didn't want to get into this box and spread things everywhere. But I wanted to show you some things. I got these at Ross. These are Beautyless Curly Q Flexible Hair Rollers, and they're kind of like reminiscent of spiral rod hair curlers when you got a spiral perm if you ever got one of those. But I got a three quarter inch and I also got one that had seven sixteenth of an inch and five eighths of an inch. And I haven't tried them yet, but I'm going to go to bed with them. <laughs> that sounded terrible. I'm going to go to bed with them in my hair, get out of the shower, put them in and, and let them stay in there overnight and see what happens. I may end up looking like Shirley Temple or Curly Sue or something like that, but at least it'll have some body and some curl and if I have to put it up, it'll be curly and not crazy. We'll see. Um, another one that I've never seen one like this before um, is called Self Holding Rollers Twist and Curl. And I'm not going to take them out of the box or the container, but it, they look like little hamburgers. But basically they're foam rollers and I'm guessing you twist your hair and then you roll it around the center of this little roller. And that looked really interesting to me, and so I'm going to give both of those a try. I may do a review on them if they turn out well. If they don't turn out well, I'm not sure I want you to see how crazy I'm sure they could look if it didn't work well. But I'm still on the mission. I'm still trying new stuff to try to figure out a way to have curly hair and it not be a hour-long process for something that doesn't even stay. Okay, so next, most of you know that I've been very obsessed with flowery ears and kitty cat ears and all those things, and we went to Nordstrom Rack. We were in Edmond or Oklahoma City, and I found lots of really cute ones. So I'm just going to show them to you real quick. Super cute, pretty flowers, and you know there's some pink there, so that was it. Again pretty flowers, some pink ones in there. I really like this one because it was a little bit different and this is actually one I think I would actually wear out. I don't know, it kind of looks like I need to be in a wedding, doesn't it? But anyways, we'll give it a try. I thought that was pretty. And then finally, this one is the most unique of them. Very pretty and the flowers are made from sequins. <laughs> so that's it for the cat ears. I have probably 15 pair now and I even bought some for 4th of July and forgot to put them on in my 4th of July video, so. Okay, next was a present from my mom actually and it's an aromatherapy shower kit. She likes, she knows that I like essential oils and 
oil diffusers and those sort of things. And so basically this clips onto your shower head and it has these little um, capsules that have different variations. Let's see what they say. They've got breathe, passion, and unwind. So breathe is for refreshing like you would use it in the morning. Passion is for whatever. Um, essential aroma that excites and arouses the mind and senses. And then unwind is one that you would use at the end of the day for lightness, peace, stress relief. So this is really neat. I've already used it. This is actually the second of the two of the set. I have a set of two. <clears throat> Next is a repurchase of something that I just wanted to get while it was available and at a good price. And that is Righteous Butter by Soap and Glory and Heal Genius by Soap and Glory. These are two of my holy grails. Whenever I'm at Target, I buy them because Target has a better price. And these are backups. This is excellent. If you don't want to have crusty feet, especially right now that we have um, flip-flop season. And this is just an overall awesome body butter and it smells like heaven. It smells like what heaven smells like. I promise you. So if you haven't checked those out, do that. All right, next was from, I guess I can look on the price tags to tell you where I got these from. Next was from Ross, and these are just a set of really pretty rose brushes, and I don't even intend to use these. I intend to find a place for them somewhere in my vanity area, in a pretty cup or something like that. They were just pretty, and I've been wanting some rose um, brushes for a while. I just never did see any that weren't crazy expensive, so I really think those are pretty. You're like, Sherry, where's the makeup? I didn't get any makeup. Next was at um, Nordstrom Rack. It is this ginormous bottle of body oil. Um, this was like on sale for about $15, I think. And I've used this by Neutrogena. I've used this forever. I use this every time I get out of the shower and this keeps my skin so soft. I just put it on as soon as I'm out of the shower while I'm still wet, put on my bathrobe and let it sink in while I'm getting ready and it is good stuff and it's super expensive. Even the knockoff brands of this are super expensive. The smallest bottle of this actual name brand is like $14 and something and so I got this ginormous, let's see, 32 ounces. So this will last me forever but I was excited to get a really good deal on that. See how sensible I'm being? even with my birthday splurge. All right, next was from Ross, and it's a Moda brush, multi-purpose powder, and it reminded me of the shape of the multi-tasking brush from Real Techniques, and I really like Moda brushes, and so I thought, well, that might be another one that I could use for bronzing, so and that was a really good price, $3.99. These are really discounted. I had another set that I've been using, this is the same one. Um, I've been using a set of two and I think I used it in the video to do this. All right, the next thing I got was from Marshalls and it is a vapor essential oil diffuser. I already have one of these in my living room area, but I wanted one specifically for my room. And so it's really pretty. It has, you know, LED lights where it changes colors and all that jazz. But anyways, I was going to, I think it shows, yeah, it just shows it, different colors. And anyways, good deal on that. I was, I'm happy to have one of those for my room. I'm ready to get it hooked up. I've been waiting. See, if I would have just gotten my video, video done sooner, then I wouldn't have had to wait. But it is whatever. All right, we're getting, oh, this was the little box that came. It was a stipple brush and a powder brush. So that was the packaging. A lot of good that does you, right? So um, here's one of the sacks. It's all janky now, but that might tell you that I got something from here. But I'm not getting into that just yet. All right, these I believe, let's see. These were from Ross. Um, I don't really, I can't really hold the whole thing up for you. Basically, <laughs> to show you the pattern, this is one of those little drapey kimonos. And these are super expensive. I really like them, 
because I like to wear jackets and I like to layer up when I'm at school because when it's cold, I'm cold. And when the air conditioner is on all the time at school that we don't have a lot of control over, I'm still cold. And these were like $9.99 and these are upwards of like $75 at different places that I've looked. And so here's the white one. I thought that was an awesome deal. I couldn't, it was a size, two sizes down, so I couldn't believe that it fit me, but it did. And then this one is actually my favorite print. It's the same exact style. And it's just a kimono, but it just, it doesn't close or anything in the front. But here's the other one, and I really like this pattern the best. But it's nice to have a black one and a white one, and this also was $8.99, so an awesome deal on that. I'm ha I have a mountain on my vanity right now. All right, I think I'm going to grab the Mac stuff because it's, it's a small amount of stuff. The first thing I got was a Mac 242 brush. And this is actually the synthetic version of the brush that I already have, which is my absolute favorite. Like I told the guy at Mac, I would hurt somebody over this brush. Like if I found somebody trying to take off with this brush, I think I might hurt them, honestly. It's my favorite brush. It's a perfect brush for inner corner and for putting any kind of shimmer or glitter or anything. It's the best brush ever. And I said, you have to promise me that this synthetic brush is as good as the natural hair brush before I buy this because it's super expensive. And he said that there were some in the synthetic form that weren't, but if I would really wash this well, wash it a couple times, get it nice and broken in, he promises me it will be just as good because I really just wanted to have a backup to have two of those brushes so that while I'm washing this one, I would have one to use. So, that's an awesome brush. I will give you a verdict later on whether he was telling the truth. I got his name and I told him if it didn't turn out the way he promised me it would, I would be back to have a visit with him. See how I can be Miss Thang? And the other thing is a product that I've heard people talk about for years that was always limited edition, that came out sometimes, got sold out, la la la, and that is this Whisper of Guilt highlighter. And I will swatch it for you. It reminds me, it reminds me of the Omrezy by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it's, it's lighter. It doesn't have as much gold, it's more champagne-y, and I'm having heck getting it open but I'm gonna swatch it for you. It's super beautiful. Super, super beautiful. Isn't that so pretty? And I would love to use it even for eyeshadow, but I haven't used this yet. I didn't plan on swatching all this stuff for you because I'm gonna be using it in videos, but that was the only stuff that I got from MAC. I was very restrained. <laughs> They had just dropped the Aaliyah collection, and I was like, I can't, no, I'm not looking, stop, no. In fact, we hadn't even planned to go there. We just walked by, and I said, there's a mat counter. <laughs> yeah, beeline to the mat counter. Next was Sephora, and I'll try to show you what I got from there. I think I have it all, I think I know what is what, and I'm trying not to, for this box to fall down. Okay, the first thing is the um, Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I got a sample of this in my BoxyCharm, and I love the way it smells so much, but when I saw the full size, it was like $47. I was like, there's no way. Well, they had it in between our size, and so I got that. So I'm happy to have that for summer, because this is a scent that I think is really conducive to summer like it's a summer tropical smell and so I don't think I would use this much in the winter time so I want to use it while the getting's good you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying last night you guys I watched we are the Millers that is one of the funniest movies I have ever seen and that guy in there that has no regrets spelled wrong on his chest he's always like you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so all day I've been thinking you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying if you don't know what I'm saying go watch the movie it's super funny so I bought some of this Cinema Secrets um, brush cleaner when Ulta had, the, not Ulta, Sephora had the 20% off sale. I had been wanting to get this forever and I think Cassie S. was the one who suggested it to me or said that she was going to try it or something like, all I can say is why did I wait so long? And I was looking for my little spray bottle with it in it and it's, oh here it is. 
what I do is I put it in a little spray bottle. I spray a little on the tip of it. I rub it around in circles on my towel and it's clean. And a few seconds later, it's dry. So it's like a liquid color switch, but it actually gets the product off of your brush. It smells like vanilla. It has a little alcohol smell, but it smells like vanilla, but it's a good smell. It makes your brushes smell good and it doesn't dry them out either. It's, it has to have some oil in it as well expensive but all the way work it all the way all the way work it all the way worth it I mean I haven't even finished the bottle and I got another one because I don't want to be without it it's so worth it especially if you're a beauty creator and you need your brushes on the fly like you just see one sturdy and it has bright pink on it you need it for the video there you have it cinema secrets I also got a backup for my Too Faced Peach per Peach Perfect Peach Perfect setting powder. Holy Grail, better than Laura Mercier, best powder ever in life, and it seems to be sold out a lot. So I wasn't about to be without it this time, and so I got a backup. Okay, for my birthday present, I got a Bite Beauty, a little um, two little lippies. I'll, I'm not going to swatch them because I don't know that I'm going to keep these, but I'll show you what they look like. Um, ooh, this is pretty. One of their slim lippies, and that's in the shade, I don't have my glasses on. That's in the shade, I don't know, but I showed it to you. And then here's another one. This is in the shade Chai, and this is, ooh, that's a nice, um, fall color. Anyways, I love Bite Beauty Lippies. And then here is a, this is a lip balm and a lip scrub. Cool, I didn't even know they had that. So a nice little Bite Beauty set for for my birthday. Um, I was going to use my points, but they just didn't have anything that I wanted. So I love Bite Beauty. I love Bite Lipsticks. They're, they're perfection. I got a solid brush cleaner from Sephora. I use this for my beauty blenders. I haven't used the Cinema Secrets on my sponges. I don't know how it would work. I haven't even tried it and I'm not even sure if you're supposed to use it because it's a brush cleaner. So this is what I put on my sink. It's like 12 bucks and it lasts about two or three months and I wash my beauty blenders there every single day. So it's a nice, um, it's a knockoff, a Sephora brand knockoff of the Solid Cleanser by Beauty Blender. All right, folks, now I'm getting to the part where I'm not sure where some of this came from. Most of this, I think, came from Ulta, so I'm just going to say this is the stuff from Ulta. I had lots of points, and I, I did spend some money, but I had points to spend, so I used those, and I got a birthday gift. My birthday gift from Ulta was a NARS Orgasm Mini Blush. And I'm glad to have this. This is kind of one of those cult classics that I've never had, so I'm glad to have this. Next, they had a sale on Ardell eyelashes. One of them must still be in the bag. Um, I got the Mega Volume 251. I think they were buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off. I got the Ardell 230 been looking for another really PC eyelash. I love Ardell lashes. And these are the Studio Effects and Demi Wispies. A double pack of those. I also got some eye lure. These were on sale as well. And this is, I'm looking for something that's similar to the House of, Lash House of Lashes Siren. And I think these might be it. These are super wide across. <laughs> I could even probably have two pairs of lashes out of there. But I love eye lure lashes. Oh, here's the other Ardell. These are the Faux Mink Invisiband in style 817, a more natural lash, wispy lash. Okay, so I bought this NARS Lippy Duo. I cannot find the one that I actually took with me somewhere, so I'm guessing it's in the bottom of my purse. But if you see the shades, they're my shades. But I was disillusioned. I was... Uh, run amok by this box because it looks like they're full size and it doesn't really say minis but they're minis <laughs> so this is the one the writing's too small 
but I'll show you the color. And actually this looks like I've used it, so maybe the other one is in the bottom of this bag somewhere. I hope I haven't lost it, because you know NARS is not inexpensive, and that would be such a shame, wouldn't it, if I lost one of them? I think it would be. Alright, next is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Now here's the issue. They've come out with this in a in a tube with a wand and that's what I wanted but I really wanted to try this because I think it's got the coverage of um, Tarte Shape Tape but I think it's got some emolliency to it and so I got it in the squeezy tube I think I may have gone too light it's so hard to check colors in there anyways I got it I'm gonna try it I, I kind of intended to mix it with Tarte Shape Tape, so I think the color on my other one will make this where it's, the lightness isn't going to be a factor. Um, Emily Noel is swearing by this, and a lot of people that I've seen try this have really liked it as far as a coverage perspective and just not being as dry as Tarte Shape Tape. The next thing I got, and these were actually on sale for buy one get one half off and this was a recommendation I'm trying to find the other one real quick um, this was a recommendation from my friend Shannon Bidgood Bidgood I hope I got her name wrong right all of a sudden it sounded wrong Shannon Bidgood yes anyways NYX pore filling um, primer and because it was buy one get one free I got an angel veil both of these I've been wanting to try and this one I've already been using and I like it so this will be getting try it out soon. I also have seen sleek highlighters being raved about and this was on sale like almost everything that I got was on sale and some of these are cream highlighters and some of them are powders but super pretty you guys know this pink one got me right <laughs> so I think we stuck around in the drugstore aisle a lot more than we did over in the prestige section of Ulta. Um, here's another tool. I've never seen one. This is an eyelash separator and it's kind of like, it's hard for me to show you without taking it out and I don't want to take it out, but it's kind of like the shape of an eyelash curler and most of the eyelash separators are like little combs and it's not really conducive to your eye shape. This one is going to be like go up through your lashes in, in the right in the right way so I'm excited about that because I think that's a super cool shape and if it's I don't think it's gimmicky we'll see oh no I have a lip liner in the bag with no lid on it I got a backup for my NYX micro brow and chocolate you guys know I've used that forever and ever amen um, that's the box to the NARS lippy I got a travel size IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I was getting a backup because I'm almost out of this and they didn't have the full size so I got the little mini. I also got another moisturizer, also an Emily Noel recommendation, Moisture Surge by Clinique Intense Formula. I've been using this since I got home and I love this. This is probably the best moisturizer that I've used so far since I've been using pricier products. This is good stuff. I know a lot of people like Moisture Surge and I do like it. It's just, it's a little bit too light for a night night cream is what I was needing it for. I'm going to save that for last. I got some Wet n Wild uh, lip liners. And once I show you in my vanity tour the amount of lip liners I have, you should smack me. But yeah, two lip liners by Wet n Wild. I need no lip liner ever in life for the rest of life. Just saying. Um, these are Tartiste lashes. I got the um, Style Flirt, which is this one. And these are really nice lashes, kind of luxury lashes but not crazy prices. It's not like Huda Lashes where they're like 30 bucks. And this one is Goddess. I was on a lash kit, can you tell? <laughs> I got some, let's see, these are Milani. I got some Milani lippies. I really wanted some pinky nudes. 
you guys know about me and pinky nudes you know these are the two that uh, the two that I didn't have and there's no lid in there I wonder what happened to oh here it is yeah I got also got some um, these are essence slip liners and these were super cheap they're like a dollar ninety nine or something so I tried to get some colors some fuchsia um, kind of a purpley tulipy pink and kind of a mid mid-tone pink um, obviously the lids to these don't stay on very well but try to find shades that I'm always looking for and I have all these others but I don't have what I need exactly um, I found backups for my pretty natural by Milani lipsticks I got two of them I, they've been sold out everywhere every time I've looked for months so I was super happy to find those and there's the other NARS lippy I didn't lose it and here's the other one this is kind of a taupey nude so that is all that's in the bag you guys and I'm gonna take a second to get this out of my way and then I'm gonna show you the last thing that I got all right I thought I should turn the camera off but anyway no I actually have two things I found one more this is a backup a replacement I'm almost out this is the shade nude suede shoes in the uh, slide on glide on NYX lip liner this is a beautiful taupey kind of a misty purplish it's perfect nude suede shoes and I that was another one that I've been looking for forever and ever and it's been out every time I went anywhere so last is a Tarte high performance chrome paint shadow pot and let me tell you something there were like three of these that I wanted they weren't even that expensive I can't remember exactly I want to say 22 um, but they're pigments and I saw Samantha I don't know how to say her last name she right Ryan Duvall Ryan Duvall anyway she's Canadian and I love watching her channel and also Rob Beauty Christie they were doing a get ready with me together and they had these chrome paints and the one that Christy had was Top Yacht and that's what this one is and I swatched all of them and there was one that had and it has a little thing to press it down there's one that had it was like fiery red pink orange shift that was super beautiful but look at that and wait till you see me swatch this on my hand you're gonna flip look at that I barely put my finger into that pot I mean you can't even hardly tell that I touched it <laughs> I cannot wait to get that on my lid get on my lid cannot wait to get that on my lid you guys it is so flipping beautiful it's given um, any glitters that are just tr traditional glitters a run for their money because this is glittery and shimmery and you don't have to deal with a bunch of stuff that's going to get all over your face well I say that I haven't put this on so I don't know but I want they had a denim blue one and they had this fiery red one and I want both of them and of course they didn't have either one in stock I had a situation that entire day and maybe it was God saying I had a situation that entire day where almost everything that I came to get was sold out or they were out of stock or they hadn't even gotten it yet because I was getting ahead of the game and it wasn't even in stores yet So that's it you guys and you may say that was that was you having restraint yes it was and last year and the year before that double triple quadruple that amount of stuff I promise you and I don't even think I did hauls I might have done the makeup haul but I didn't do any of the other stuff and I did pick up a few things here and there some candles and different things but you know most of you beauty guys are here for the beauty ish type stuff and so that's what I wanted to show you so thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to get you guys in here and show you my vanity area, my beauty area, and show you my palette collection and all those things. And those are coming soon, I promise. Everything is falling into place. I'm getting everything where it goes, and I'll be doing that very soon. So you can be on the lookout for that. But as far as this video, I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got for my birthday, even though it was a long time ago. But I appreciate everybody making me feel so special on that day. Thank you. Most of you took time out of your busy schedules to wish me a happy birthday, and I really appreciate that. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I ordinarily upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. 
and when I do a live stream, it's on Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. But until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. If I would have known if I had picked up on your tone, yeah, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be laying here to stay.